Now, what is your Instagram profile? It is basically the bio section that includes all the general details that your customers get to see when they land on your Instagram profile. For example, they might have questions about who you are, what you do, what you offer, how do they even buy from you, etc., etc. Now, why is this super important? Because it is the first impression of your brand. People only have two seconds to see basically every question that they have and it has to be answered because if it is not answered and if they're confused, then most likely they'll just scroll off because they can't be bothered to continue digging. And that's how short the attention span is for your customers nowadays. So if you don't want to lose a sale, you need to make sure you pay attention in this lesson. And it also allows your account to be much more discoverable by other people who haven't landed on your account yet. So for example, if they're searching for a specific keyword, let's say if they're looking for the best hot dog in Vancouver, and if it is in your keyword, then you're going to pop up and you will likely get a sale or at least you have potential to get a sale because you're discovered by your customers. Now, the five essentials for your Instagram profile. First up, your name, next up category of your business, location, website link, and bio description. And we're gonna be diving deep into each of these essentials right now. Let's dive into name. With your name, it needs to include your company name and also the keyword that describes what you're selling. Because when people are looking at Bulbasaur, and this is a case study that we created specifically to show you how to do this. So with the brand name Bulbasaur, people have no clue what we're selling. They're gonna be thinking that we're selling Pokemon cards, for example. And that's the reason why we need to have the keyword that tells them what we're selling. We're selling bubble tea kits. Having a keyword beside the name exposes your brand to people who are searching for a bubble tea kit as well. Um, right here, when people are searching for bubble tea kits, we pop up as one of the top four, even though we're brand new, because a lot of people do not optimize the feature of the keywords. And that's the reason why you need to be able to do that. So when people are searching for bubble tea kits, they're gonna be able to find you. Now, a pro tip is you're gonna be asking yourself, what is a keyword that I'm gonna use for my business? Well, ask yourself for your product, what is the most common way people describe what you sell? For example, it could be um, ube cookies, it could be hot sauce, it could be bubble tea kit. A very, very easy example is to ask your friends and family how they would describe your creation. And as you ask enough of your friends and family, let's say five to 10 of them, you're going to be able to see a pattern erupt. You're going to see that, oh, everyone's describing my, uh, my, my bubble tea drink as a bubble tea kit. Now that's how you're going to know what keyword to use for your Instagram bio. Next up, the category of your business. Tell your customer what type of business that you are. And right here, it's food and, biz food and beverage. And make sure to select it when you are creating your Instagram profile. Don't leave this area blank. Next up is your location. Allows your customers to see where you're from and what you're located. And make sure to include the big city and the province that you're in. And don't skip out on this section as well because it's very important for people to understand where you are because if they were to buy from you, they wanna be able to buy from somewhat local. Next up, your website link. There are two options for this area and this should have been done in the last module, module five. We talked about creating your website and a, or, or a order form. If you're not aware of that, please jump back to module five, lesson 2.1 and 2.2. And that's where you put it in. Make sure you put in your either your website or your order form. I see a lot of different Instagram accounts do not utilize this specific feature. And if you lose out on this feature, you're basically losing out on a very, very important call to action. So make sure you guys put this in, okay? And lastly, your bio description. There's only 150 characters for this whole section, and we're gonna be able to optimize this whole section and answer as many questions as possible. And that's the reason why it's super important for us to take note, and we're gonna break it down into four different questions that you must answer. Four questions. First up, what is so special about what you sell? How can your customers stalk you or give you shout outs and recognition? When, can our, when are we available to answer questions and when can we pick up? And lastly, okay, now I'm ready to place an order. How do I place an order? Your bio needs to answer all four of these pressing questions in 
150 characters. And that's a, definitely a challenge, and which is the reason why we're gonna dive in strict about what these questions mean and how you can answer them. First up, what is so special about what you sell? For us, it's a DIY bubble tea kit for the home boberista, make brown sugar boba in five minutes. This could be your mission statement, and this is just an example of what this is. For example, if you're serving vegan uh, chocolate cookies, right, then you can put down um, the first vegan chocolate cookies in the Bay Area. And so then people know exactly what you're selling and what is so special about you that they can't go to the local corner store to get that cookie, right? Give them a reason to buy from you. And this is the reason where you put um, that you put in your description. Next up. How can your customers stalk you or give you shout outs and recognition? And this is something that we called branded hashtags, okay? And a hashtag is a unique a way to categorize your business and to log your business. And this is what we encourage to our customers when they are sharing our product. And we every time we have a campaign, we encourage people to use that hashtag. And more on hashtags later on in uh, the following lessons. But nonetheless, know for a fact that you need to give people a way to stalk you, people a way to give you shout outs. As you can see right here, this is 720 Sweets, uh, our ice cream shop previously, right? Once you click into this tag, you're gonna see more than 5,000 people talking about our ice cream. And these are all people tagging 720 Sweets. And now, for example, if you're a customer and you're thinking about, hey, are, are, is this brand actually legit? Is this brand good? How are people consuming it? What are their like famous uh, items? Then once you click into the hashtag, people would be able to see other people enjoying your products, and thus they're gonna have much more. Um, you're gonna have much more credibility and authority to sell to your customers, and that's the reason why you need to start right away. For us, this 5,000 post did not come right away. It came over time. We built this over time. And that's the reason why you need to start that in the, from the get-go. It could be your company name or it could be your hash uh, tagline. For 720 Sweets, we use 720 Sweets, which is our ice cream shop name. And for Bulbasaur, we just use Bulbasaur.yvr. And that's the reason why it's right here. Have that in your bio so then that way people know how to give you shout outs and give you recognition. Now, when are you available for me if I have questions? And oh, by the way, one more thing. When you're talking about branded hashtags, use the same one all the time because you do not wanna have multiple different hashtags because it just dilutes the effort. When, you, when your customers are typing in hashtags, they just need to remember one hashtag that re resembles your brand because if they have multiple hashtags, then you're gonna lose them because there's just too many for people to remember. They wouldn't know which one to type in and it is just very, very confusing. So go with one hashtag that resembles your brand. For us, this is our brand name. For this one, same thing, using our brand name. Next, logistics. We talked about this in detail in module five. So if you're not aware of that and if, or if you skipped it, definitely go back. In this area, you need to allow your customers to know when are the cutoff times and when are dates for delivery, whether it's pickup or delivery, fulfillment details in this section as well. Now, you are, I, you're ready to place an order. I wanna place an order. How do I place an order, guys? This is a key, key place where you need to allow people to know where to order. It is a call to action button. So always, always ask yourself, am I giving my customers a channel to order from me? And make sure you include it in your bio. It directs people to take an action that you want them to take, whether it is, a current promotion, buy one, get one free, or new product available, or order now, or DM us for inquiries. Regardless of whatever it is, you must have a call to action. You must force, not force, you must promote your customers to take an action. Otherwise, they won't take an action. If you have all this great stuff, doing all the, laying all the foundations of a good profile, but if you don't have a call to action, which I see a lot of people miss, then, people are not gonna be able to order from you because they just don't know. And once again, if they're confused, they're just gonna scroll off or they're gonna be like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna buy tomorrow. And when they do that, most likely or not, they're gonna forget and you're gonna lose the sale. So pro tip, 
emojis, okay? As, as you can see right here, we use a lot of emojis because it's a new thing, it's much more engaging, and it also makes it much more fun. And that's the reason why we encourage you to use emojis. So if you're using your laptop to create an account for your business, and you're not gonna be able to find emojis. And that's the reason why you should go and check out this link. Once you click on this link, you're gonna see a ton of different emojis, which you can just copy and put it in your bio. Also ensure your bio is well formatted and legible. So if we're looking at this one, it is very, very difficult to read all this kind of mumble jumble. Whereas if you're looking at this one, you're answering all these questions very, very quick, simple, because it's structured and formatted correctly. So make sure your bio is structured like this and not like this. The four answers you must have for your profile. These are the four and make sure you guys take note of this and make sure you guys ask yourself, am I answering these questions for my customers? Now it is your turn, personalize your Instagram profile and your bio. Use 20 of the Instagram accounts in the link below for your resource to get more inspiration. 